Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So work out the perimeter of this asteroid here. So uh, so work out the perimeter here. And um, when when you look at this, um, right at this point here, well, you want to work out the the uh, the the arc length there. But then when you look at the formula for the arc length, you've got to um, you've got to find the derivative. Uh, but when when it comes to this, when it comes to this, um, so so when you look at this, you need to rearrange it so that y equals something. And then when you come to differentiate this, um, you're going to get f prime equals something. But um, but that on zero, that on zero, it's not differentiable. That on zero. Re remember, you can't you can't differentiate something like this. You can't differentiate it. So this bit here will break down. So 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 when you when if you're thinking of uh, of finding out the length from here to here and then later times four, then then you would need to find the integral from 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 zero to uh, to one. But the thing is, if if you later on come to um, to, to put zero into this thing here, this thing here will break down, um, it, 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 because you, you're, you're going to get something like one over zero, one over zero, and it, the minute you get one over zero, it breaks down. So what you do is you um, you uh, you draw a diagonal line here, and then you you just it, remember here the, the normal function that on zero it makes sense, it, it is defined, but it's just the derivative that that does make sense. So, 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 what you should do here is um, is find uh, find the integral from wherever this may be to one, and then later later you can multiply by eight. Okay. Well, do whatever you want. Find the perimeter. So press pause and have a go. Okay. So first start with this. Uh, rearrange it so that we we would get one uh, y equals something. So start with this. So um, so start with this. And then rearrange it so that that will give you y equals this thing here. So now let's let's imagine this this y equals thing as as a function. Let's just, let's just imagine it as this. So now um now we need to find f prime. So differentiate this. So uh, differentiate this. Um, uh, and then uh, that would then and then you times with the derivative of the bubble itself, or the derivative of this bubble here would be would be this thing here. Okay, and then uh, so basically differentiate. Oops, basically, basically differentiate this, and it will give you this. And then tidy up. So uh, so when you tidy this up, uh, this here times of this, uh, blah blah. This uh, this whole thing here becomes this thing here. And now um, uh, remember, you you've got f prime at the moment. If you go back to um, to look at the formula for the arc, now the arc you've got f prime, and then you've got to square it, and then later on you've got to add one. Okay, so so we we are currently at f prime. Now we need to square it. So going back down here, we are currently at f prime. Now we need to square it. So so visualize this thing here as one block times this block. When you square this thing, it's really this thing times by itself. Okay, so now now we can merge this block with this block. That will then give us this. Now merge this block with this block. That will then give you this. Okay, so so basically the square root disappears. Okay, and then and then multiply this out. This times this. This times this. That will then give you this. And this is just one. Okay, so that would that so so f prime f prime squared equals this thing here. But don't forget we need to uh, add 1 over here because we are interested in this. So add 1 to both sides, that will then give you this. Okay. So um, so uh, if, if you look at the formula for the arc, and if you look at the formula for the arc, um, if you look at the formula for the arc, you, you need to square your f prime and then you need to add 1 and then later on you've got to square root it. So try to try to write this as a uh, as a product, well, as well, currently we are here. Hang on, currently this whole thing here is this thing here. But well, visualize this thing as one block multiplying by itself. Visualize, visualize this block here as this thing, because later on when you when you square when you square root it, it will give you. So so basically, if you put this, hang on, if you put the whole thing here into here, into here. 
So so this whole thing here is this thing here. Square root it, it will it will just basically when you square root it, this thing gets killed off, leaving you this. So hang on. So at the moment, this thing here, which is this thing here, put this into here, and then it will become this. It will become this. So now it's just a matter of evaluating this. But then if if you um if you so 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 currently we are we are here at the moment. If you um if you try and uh, find the arc length from here to here, from zero to one, it will break down. From from zero to one, it will break down because because if you put um if you put zero into here, well what you've got here at the moment is this one over x to the power of three. Well if you put zero into here, you're going to get one over zero, so it breaks down. So you can't really evaluate it from from zero to one. So rather than evaluating from zero to one, um, locate this point, and then integrate it from uh, from from the x value here um, to to the one here. You see what I mean in the next video. I will continue in the next video.